Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest. From Chuck and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, he now stars in Shazam. Hey, stop right there. How do I know you're not a supervillain using telepathic abilities to make me believe that you're Billy? Huh? What? All I have to do is press dial on this thing. Freddie, I swear, it's me, okay? Look, I know we're not really close friends or anything, but you're the only person that I know that knows anything about this Cape Crusader stuff. Can I hit? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Okay. What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. Please welcome Zachary Levi. <laughs> Now, this being on a Broadway stage, like our show is here on Broadway at the Azalma yes. Theater. This is nothing new to you. You're literally right next door to Studio 54 that I did She Loves Me at. We were right, we were right next right. door. Stage yours right You're there. An old hand, yeah. the old, old hand on Broadway. Yeah. yeah. And of course, people know you from Chuck. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All as right. I said before, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yes. And. So delightful that show. It's so but well done. Now you have reached uh, superhero status. Quite literally, yeah. And for for those who do not know the history of Shazam, I had the Shazam comics when I was a kid in elementary did school. You really? I did, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. And uh, uh, tell the people who Shazam is and rate Shazam's scale on like on a scale of Ant Man to Captain Marvel. Where does Shazam <laughs> fall? Well, I wouldn't put it anywhere on that scale because that's all Marvel and I'm DC. But uh, I. <laughs> Hey, it's not a it's not a war, guys. It's not a war. Um, mm -hmm. But I I would say, well so quickly the history is uh, in 1939 uh, Fawcett Comics created a, a character named Captain Marvel actually, and that's the origin name of of Shazam. And it's a, a 14 year old boy named Billy Batson who's a foster kid, and he has got a pure heart. And uh, because of that, a wizard named Shazam whisks him away to this magical realm called the Rock of Eternity and imbues him with his powers by saying you know say my name and my powers will flow through you. And then uh, Billy says Shazam and he turns into the superhero uh, version of himself, essentially. But it's like the movie Big meets the movie Superman. So I'm still 14 inside when you see me on screen. I want you to know, uh, many times as a child, I secretly would say to myself, Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Just I, wondering I still do it right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, now, it's, it's not your first superhero movie. No. Uh, you were in Thor. I was, yes. I was I'm very honored to be a part of that Thor franchise, and I played Fandral the Dashing, which was uh, a really fun, kind of like a, you know, a swashbuckling Lothario These type. are Thor's friends. Yeah, the Warriors 3. Yeah, yeah exactly. that, that, you know, we had a bit to do in, in those movies, but then we, we, we were all kind of unceremoniously slaughtered by Kate Blanchett in, in uh, Thor Ragnarok. Like, which, literally, like, she walks like she walked. I didn't even have a line in that movie. <laughs> I, that's how fast I died. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to die, die at the hands of Kate Blanchett. I think that's a good... Absolutely. That's a good I thing. Yeah, yeah. I've thought about it a yeah. lot. Yeah. But, but <laughs> we all have, haven't we? Right. Exactly. If I'm going to die. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was really awesome. Uh, although it was kind of a bummer when I died in, in that franchise because I thought, well, maybe that was, my, that was my token. I played it. I got a great spin on the wheel. I made it on the board, rock and roll, but I didn't have that much to do. And, but the truth is I, I wouldn't change it at all. I mean, if I hadn't died there, I would not have been able to be reborn in the DC universe and be given this incredible opportunity to bring this character to life, a, a character that's been around for 80 years and that I think is genuinely unique in that it's a boy. You know, it's, it's the kid in all of us. Every one of us. When I was a kid, certainly, I think if you collected comic books, when you're a little kid, at some point in your life, you really truly believe, like at the point when you think that the floor is lava and you're jumping from couch to couch, you really right. believe that you can be a superhero. And I have sure. never let go of that. And so that's now all happening. Like, like my dreams are coming true right before me. It's tell so me about the insane. suit. Tell me about the, the, suit's, me about the suit. Uh, the suit is both uh, incredibly dope and incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, Do you have to be like talcum powdered before? Oh you're yeah, into oh it? yeah. There's like talcum powder. There's a whole deal. I had a couple of uh, beautiful uh, uh, wardrobe. Uh, 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 costumers that would help me to get in and out of it. I, I kind of felt like a four-year-old when you, you know, when you're dressing your kids and they're like, "Upsies, mommy," you know, like that's what it, that's what it, <laughs> that's what's what it felt under, like. What's the underwear situation in there? Uh, is, it there? I, is it a thong? <laughs> is it a thong? A lady never reveals her secrets. Okay, good. Well, I got a better question for you. Here you are. 
Yep. There you are right there. That's and me. I can see, I hear you are right here, and I can see you're a big strapping young man. But are all these muscles real, or is the suit doing any of the work here? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, come on. I've got shoulders that look like LeBron James. Clearly, the suit's doing some work. Uh, uh, no, I mean, there, it, it's a, it's a, it was a dance between the both of us. I mean, I, man, I was so grateful that uh, they gave me the opportunity and trusted me to go hit the gym as hard as I could and gain, I think I gained like 24 pounds in the first couple of months and have stayed in the gym at six days a week through all of it still to this day. And I'm healthier and stronger than I've ever been and I'm so grateful for that. Are you still working out? Are you still keeping the I was. I worked protein? out today. Yeah, all of wow. it. Wow. Yeah. So you're hoping oh, for yeah. a sequel. You're yeah, hoping for a sequel. I'm hoping for a sequel. I, I, I've been working out so much that I started my own supplement company. Like that's how much in health and wellness I am. You were not only given an opportunity, you were given... I know! You were given a figure. I know. Oh, That's pretty damn exciting. This is, I call him. Like I a, call him Shazito. He's little little Shazam. Yeah. That is fantastic. He can move in all different directions. I mean, it's you know when you're a kid and you grew up with action figures. When I saw this thing, all, immediately all I thought about was like my nephew Griffin, who I love and is like the greatest thing ever, and he's gonna have this little me that he gets to run around with and like use his imagination and explore all of his incredible worlds that he's coming up with. Like, Does Griffin have other uncles? No, I am the only uncle. Favorite. Yeah, one hundred percent. Only in favorite. Yes, exactly. Well, Zachary, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Absolutely. Congratulations! Can't wait to thank see you. the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Shazam! Shazam is in theaters tomorrow. Zachary Levi, everybody, we'll be right back with the performance by Nina. Nick.